right. No good can come with dealing with reploids. What? Racist much? from Race Break Gaming, and I'm going to welcome you to my newest main walkthrough slash Let's Play series. Viewers, I want to welcome you to one of my favorite Zero games. Welcome to Let's Play Mega Man Zero Four for the GBA. Now, viewers, this is the fourth and final Zero game in the series. Now, if you remember my, how awesome my Zero Three LP was, then yeah, you're in for a treat with Zero Four. This will be the climactic conclusion to Zero's tale. Now, what awaits him in his final tale? Well, you'll find out soon enough. So, if you're looking forward to some Zero Retro GBA goodness, then let's play Mega Man Zero Four and start a new game. Now, you can also access the database here. I'll get more into that later when it becomes pertinent. Many games, as you unlock, um, or rather, as you go further into the game and stuff like that, you, you can unlock different mini games with specific characters. It's there. In any case, new game we go, and normal mode. Whoa. Hmm. Looks like we have a little bit of a pre log. Let's see. The Reploids, they were repl robots designed to look like humans. These, tech these technical marvels were given unique personalities and were intended to be the perfect workers and the perfect partners for mankind. But, the wheels of peace between Reploids and humans were beginning to grind to a halt. Hmm. Let me guess the Sigma virus or Omega. The Reploids were well designed, perhaps too well. Their humanity began to sow the seeds of rebellion. The re rebels were labeled mavericks and feared by their human masters. The humans decided to pit Reploid against Reploid. That was the fate given to them. Yeah. The Reploids fighting for humanity were never given the choice. Thus, the war of the machines began, and the humans just watched. Yeah, where's my popcorn? No, 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 it wasn't that, it wasn't that good. War begot war, and time passed. Even with the construction of the utopian human city near Arcadia, the war dragged on. The Mavericks defeated the leader of Neo Arcadia, Copy X, and now Neo Arcadia is under the control of the criminal Dr. Whale. He's still in charge? Damn. The former Utopia is now only a shadow of its former glory. Many have started to flee the city. We are one of those groups fleeing from the clutches of Dr. Well in our caravan. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Dr. Well's ruling near Arcadia with an iron fist. Ugh, that doesn't bode well. Hmm. So it looks like we're going to be doing the final game outside of New Arcadia for a change. That's good. What? Where are we? Whoa! Wow. The nice thing I love about the Zeros is they get you right into the action. Love it. Whoa! Flying peons? <laughs> uh, I should have grabbed a faster car. Trucks are so slow. News, they're catching up. I know, I know, but this is as fast as it goes. Well, what do you expect when you're driving a tractor trailer, lady? Shoot, Dr. Wells trying to bring us back. Why would Dr. Well be trying to bring you back to the Arcadia? What's the point? Huh. Got him now. Whoa! Huh? Yeah! Out of my way, bitch! Hey, the man of the hour. Wow, now that's a flashy entrance. Zero, can you hear me? The enemy is heading for the caravan. Help them. Understood. Commencing mission. Roger. All right, Sayo, I need I need some help with the trailer. Right. Uh, thank you much. And with that, mission start. All right, now we start our first mission of the game. You notice right away that we have a new weapon for Zero there, right? Yeah, that's called the Z Knuckle. We also got a new menu. As with the other Zero games, um, 
that I um, did. I'm going to be using a max crit, um, E crystals code because it's like money grinding, except it's way slower in the Zero series. So, <laughs> you pardon me if I don't want to money grind. So, there you go. E crystals have a lot more use in this game than they did in the previous ones, trust me. In any case, this new weapon here, the Z Knuckle, will basically allow Zero to grab a weapon from any enemy. It has um, long reach too. You can go down, to the sides. It's awesome. You can also use it to attack enemies as well. But its main purpose is to steal enemies' weapons. So, that's the gist. Then we got our classic Buster and Saber as well. Uh, yeah, you got your E-Crystals playtime and your code name at the top. We also have a new Cyber Elf menu here, and I'll go more into that later on when we actually get that elf. Now, as far as our weapons are concerned, um, it's still it's the same as I want it. Though, as far as the sub-weapon, uh, let me see. I want to make it like how I did with in, in Zero Three. Oh yeah, we also got another menu here. We got um our chip our chip menu here. You can equip your head chip, body chip, foot chip, and take a look of all the parts you've been collecting. Throughout the course of the game and several stages, you can collect parts from enemies as well, which we which you can take to Servu, he's with us in this game too, to form into new parts. The chip system is way different than it was in the last game. So just keep that in mind. One sec, viewers, be right back. Our viewers are back. Now, I managed to configure the weapons I wanted in, in the correct format I needed. Alright, we're all set to go, so let's get going. Ugh, whoa! <laughs> now, we got a new enemy here. I forget his name exactly, but you can I think you can steal a part called V-Fire from them. Ugh. Now, like I said, enemies will be dropping parts randomly when you kill them. The drop rate is kind of random, so don't expect it every time you kill an enemy. I know, it sucks, especially when you have to grind for them, but, you know, that's just how it is. Also, um, EX skills work a bit differently in this game compared to, compared to how they did in the previous games. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Get these bitches out of the way. <sighs> and oh yeah, try not to fall between the sections of the caravan, um, of the trucks, because you'll probably die. It's like spikes, but, you know, more annoying. Otherwise than that, though, yeah, get that, um, I think that was an extra life in there. Out of my way! There we go! Alright, yeah, we got our first part in the game, V-Fire. But yeah, go to parts, and you can see what parts you collect. So yeah, we're gonna need those parts, and you're gonna have to grind for a lot of parts in this game in order to get all the best, um, equipment for Zero. So just keep that in mind, obviously. Yeah, destroy everything, bitch! Ah, my way. There is one part in here that I want called the Goro Cannon H, though I forget what enemy exactly drops it. I mean, if we don't get it now, we can get it later. It's not really a big deal. Though, it might be this guy. Ugh. Perf- wait. That's Art Cannon. Hmm. Well, whatever. Move! Ooh, I'll take that. Thank you. Uh-oh. Yeah, low one energy. Uh, gotta keep my distance! Uh, whoa! Wow, bruh. Come on! Come at me, bro! There you go. Uh, this, I don't know why, but the opening stage in Zero Four reminds me of the opening stage in ZX Advent. That's the second game in the ZX series. I'll be getting to those LPs. Well, eventually. Just not anytime soon. Zero! Ah, there she is. You know the sprites, um, sprite looks different too, or rather a character portrait. A little bit more design. For some odd reason, they're using, um, zero, zero 03, um, character portrait for some reason. I guess they were too lazy. I'm detecting heat signatures. Zero, something's coming. Yeah, me. No, no, no. Bring the trailer closer. I'll take care of it. Gotcha. Ah. Yeah, y'all stand back. We got this. Huh? What's going on? What the hell? Is that a submarine? A submarine in the desert. Wow. Now I've seen it. Whoa! 
That's a big ass submarine. Well, whatever it is, we gotta stop it. Dr. Wells pulling out all the stops, I see. Whoa! Okay, bitch. Now, I wanna get those uh, energy ups, but for some reason, it's not gonna be that easy. Okay, that was stupid of me. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> yeah, you see there? You can destroy the little uh, copter thing there and grab onto its propeller to get uh, to, to get up. That is so boss. I love it. Uh, ow! Don't want to take too much damage because we're at the boss. They're the cool. It's just time for a boss fight versus the cool. Whoa! You notice we got new boss music too. It's called Nothing Beats. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, this is a somewhat tricky opening boss. But it's better than the sparse weak boss from the X series at the beginning. Ah! Almost got him. These guys here, I think they dropped the beam walker parts. Ah! Though I don't recommend staying long to um to kill them off. You'll get them later. See ya, bitch! Whew! Not bad. Our first mission. What? We don't get any, like, results, mint? Music or anything? Huh, that sucks. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm the ruthless edge. <sighs> Whew. That kind of took the breath out of me a little bit. Probably best not to record these in the morning. Looks like everyone is okay. How's it going? I'm surprised to see someone crazy enough to try out here in the middle of nowhere. Do you always give lectures to the people you save? <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks anyway. No biggie. News, we, we, we don't have time for this. Let's go. You're right, but there's always time to say thank you. Huh, well, at least she's, she seems nicer than her other two compatriots over there. Or a, a, at least the dude, anyway. I don't want the Reploids thinking we're ungrateful. Prepare to leave. I'll be there soon. Alright. No good can come with dealing with Reploids. What? Racist much? Well... I know, well, yeah, Reploids are machines, but they do have souls, you know? Like, come on now. I mean, just because you dealt with, you know, oppression and shit like that, doesn't, you know, stop, 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 stop. This might, I don't know why, but viewers, I, I said some intense Waka racism in this game. You notice how Waka was racist towards Riku in Final Fantasy X? Get ready to expect some of that in Zero Four. There is some racism, just not the kind of racism that you would normally expect. So, yeah. This will be an interesting game. You're human? Yes, we are. Are humans outside New York Arcadia that rare? Huh. Well, we just haven't been out of New York Arcadia that much the last three games. Zero? Ah, there she is. Zero? Hey there, Sile. Zero, I'm glad you're okay. It looks like the vehicle is okay, too. Thanks to you both. You saved us, Dr. Sile. What? How did you know? Who are you? Who, me? The name's Nooch. I'm human, just like you. I used to be a journalist who traveled the world. That's why I heard rumors about you in the Resistance that you led the Reploids against your Arcadia, and that you're supposed to be very dangerous. Dangerous? We're not... Hmm. I've heard a lot about you too, Mr. Red Guy. I knew you were in the Resistance when I heard Sion call your name just now. So, you're the legendary Reploid Zero. Wow. <laughs> I, I didn't know I was a celebrity outside of your Arcadia. We don't want any strange rumors being spread about us, lady. There won't be. I'm just telling you what I heard. But others might think differently than me. Yeah, I noticed from your friend. I'll be seeing you. It's time for us to get going. Where are you going? 
If you're human, then why don't you just stay in the Arcadia? We put all this together just to escape from there? Uh... Just stay there? Just because we're human? Uh-oh, I think I triggered her. You must be joking! What? Wait a minute. You don't know, do you? That place has changed. Didn't you see us getting attacked just now? It's terrible. It doesn't matter anymore. Human or Reploid, it's all the same. What do you mean? Anyone who opposes Whale is treated like a maverick. Are you serious? Wow, so Whale has become that Iron Fisted in such a short time? Hmm. Notice it's been several months since Zero Three ended, so it hasn't been that long. The evil Dr. Whale who was driven away from New York Arcadia. He controls all the energy and production, production there, everywhere, all because some hero defeated the leader of New Arcadia. Wait, so they're blaming us because we killed Copy X because he was going maverick? Well, he was already maverick, but still. The great sanctuary for us humans is no more. Wow. What about the Guardians? Where's Aporia and Leviathan and all of them? Oh, yeah, that's right. Viewers, if you don't recall, Haporia and the others were with us at the end of Zero Three, but because of Omega's um, explosion, all three of the Guardians got destroyed. Yeah, they all died in that explosion from Omega, but only we survived thanks to, um, you know, thanks to X. So, yeah, all of our Guardian friends, they've all sacrificed themselves for us. So yeah, that means Dr. Whale is left in charge of New Arcadia without any check on his power. Then that means what we did was... The humans are afraid of being removed if they oppose Whale, so he rules unchecked. As long as they stay quiet, they stay safe. But who knows how long before Whale decides to get rid of them, too. But what's the point of ruling over New Arcadia if, everyone, if he just wants everyone to just die out? That's why we fled from that place. We, we're settling, we're heading for the settlement in New York. Arcade, oh, fail. <laughs> we're heading for the settlement in Area Zero. Area Zero? There's a human settlement there? Then we'll go with you. Who knows when Whale will strike next? Well, Sail is, Sail is human, but Reploids aren't welcome. Wow. Especially heroes like you. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Don't tell me you're racist too, lady. The settlement is full of people who were caught up in the Reploid War, so they don't take too kindly to Reploids. I can understand that, but not all Reploids are bad. Just like not me. You no, know, it stops. Humans aren't as strong or friendly as you might think. I think Zero could tell that he has decades, centuries of experience than you do, lady. I won't tell the caravanners that you are the Zero that defeated the leader of New Arcadia. Don't get us involved in anything. Talk to you later. Wow, that's a fine howdy-do. Okay, then. Humans, huh? Zero, we should get back to the trailer. Right, right. Wow, so that's how it is, huh? Hmm. Something about the caravan bothering you? Hmm. Yeah. I was so shocked to hear that all of them were humans of the settlement that hated Reploids. It's just, I've... We fought so hard for the Reploids that I didn't know other humans felt that way. How long has it been since you've been around other humans, Sile? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Didn't they say the settlement was in a place called Area Zero? That's where we should be headed to. Th they're, they're struggling to maintain their independence from Whale, and we have to help them. What I want to know is, why is Whale even after them? I mean, if they leave, then, I mean, that's fine. You know, who who cares if they leave? I mean, they're not contributing to New York Arcadia, so why the hell would he be after them? Do what you feel is right. Thanks, Zero. I just need a little more time. 
Now might be a good time to drop by service for some maintenance. After that, come and see me in the commander's room, which is basically this. Oh, before that, I'll save your data. Cool. In the case, oh yeah, these are from my old, um, playthroughs. Yeah, years of experience. <laughs> still got this ROM after all these years, and it's still in good condition. All saved. I'll be in the commander's room. If you ever want to store your data, just drop by. Right. And I say after all this time, meaning like, ROMs to me are like cartridges, or like, or like you know, actual real cartridges to me. If I, I kept them for a long time and they're still preserved, well, ROMs, unlike cartridges, will stay preserved forever if you have them in good condition on a computer or a removable drive. So, yeah, there you go. Hey, Zero, you hanging in there? Eh, trying. Need a little work? Need those dust clouds or something else? No, I'm fine. Alright, but don't overdo it. Did you try out your Z-Knuckle yet? You probably already know it, but it's a weapon on board a chip implanted into your hand. It gives you a big strength boost when it comes in handy when attacking. Enemies were stealing your weapons. It doesn't work for every enemy, but for the ones it does, just finish them off with the Z-Knuckle and grab your weapon. By the way, wh what's your next move? Silas looking into Area Zero. I think the humans there need our help. Looks like you got your work cut out for you. If there's anything I can do to help, don't be afraid to ask. Oh, I almost forgot something. Enemies sometimes drop parts. You might be able to use some of those new parts to make new chips. If you want to try making one, just let me know. Pretty good. But yeah, talk to Servo here. And you can have, if you have any item recipes and stuff like that, you can go and create the new um, parts right then and there. Now, throughout the course of the game, certain NPCs will give you specific recipes, but it won't start until after you complete the next mission, and every subsequent mission, you know, thereafter. So, they go, so be sure to check often. In any case, we also have our parts menu here, but I don't have enough to make the um, piece of equipment that I want yet. Now that I think about it, I think Servu can actually give you a recipe too. But, for some, I don't know when exactly he does. I think, like, you just need to, like, talk to him a bit. Let's see. No, okay, I guess it's not now. But, yeah, as you saw in the, um, in, in the last mission there, just press the, um, press the jump button and directional pad up. And you can hang on to these little, um, things here, like the poles and stuff. Pretty cool. Didn't know Zero was a pole dancer. <laughs> no, no, not not that kind. Of thing. <laughs> hey, Antoinette. Hey, Zero. I asked Sean to look at look after the new elf. I'm a little worried if I can do a good job or not. A new elf? I hope the new elf comes soon. Hmm. So apparently there's a new elf coming. Get the elf. Can't wait to see what it is. In any case. Ah, it's Android 17, or rather his Zero, his Zero series counterpart. I forgot his name. Hey there, Zero. Have you heard about the Weather Changer? Let me explain it briefly. It's an orbital satellite capable of altering the very weather. It's still a work in progress, but it should be online soon. There are only some areas that can be used in. Depending on an area, a change of the weather might make it easier or harder to progress through it. Good to know. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> keep, keep that guy in mind for later. I'm just going to address him as 17, because he reminds me of Android 17. He has basically the same sprite. So, yeah, pretty much. In any case, viewers, I wonder what Area Zero was like. How about we head over there and see how Nuge and her um, friends are doing. Next time on Let's Play Mega Man Zero 4. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for gaming fits from me. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, dudes and dudes, this is Michael Rage Break Gaming, and I hope you're Rage Breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later, bitches.